Some customers can go to a business and be downright bothersome, but sometimes they actually get what's coming to them. Here are five stories of payback. Number five. A man in a supermarket took it upon himself to cut through a line of people so he could pay for his stuff and go. The cashier politely told him that he would have to take his rightful place at the end of the line and wait as all others did. Well, he did not like that one bit and started arguing with her. Then he threw a loaf of bread in the cashier's face. Now, typically, that cashier might stay calm, remain professional, and call her manager to the area to deal with the matter. But instead, she reacted to the bread in her face by throwing a milkshake next to her in the man's face. Yeah, you go girl. You know, no matter what they say, the customer is not always right. Number four. Just how spoiled and obnoxious are some of us Americans when we go to a restaurant that serves foreign delicacies and the staff there speaks a lot in their native tongue? I would hope it's not a lot. But some might be displeased about something with their order. And even then, you would calmly and kindly inform the restaurant workers of this. Well, wouldn't you? But one American woman was so angry that the restaurant workers put green peppers in her takeout order instead of red peppers that she went on a high volume rant to the workers about it. And many were in the restaurant to hear her go off on them. She yelled at them by saying, my kids don't eat green things, they eat red things. Don't eat green things, they eat red peppers. Then she says that this is America and accuses them of being rude by speaking in whatever language that is you're speaking in. The workers said they would make her a new meal that would take about 15 minutes. The woman responded, I don't have 15 minutes. I'm gonna take 15 minutes. I don't have 15 minutes for you not to know. Then she gathers her belongings and storms away, still yelling at the staff. Then she walks face first into the door. Ha ah, ha, such a fitting moment for a, 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 a pardon my French, but how you say, a spoiled rotten a bitch. Number three. In Salt Lake City, Utah, a woman walked into a Chevron store to buy some gas. But while she was in the store, she started causing problems and being unruly. So the Chevron manager decided not to take her card for the gas and asked her to leave. When the woman asked for proof that her payment for the gas was canceled, the manager handed her a receipt showing the payment was taken off. Then the woman slapped the manager and ran for an exit. But ho ho ho, the manager was not gonna have any of that. So she ran and grabbed the slap happy woman, put her in a headlock and tackled her to the floor. Police were then called to the scene and escorted Slappy out of the store. Number two. In Broward County, Florida, a woman identified as Taylor Chapman was so upset that she did not receive a receipt for her order at Dunkin Donuts she returned the next day to throw a fit about it and have her order completely fulfilled with a receipt. A receipt for crying out loud. Well, the workers at the donut shop were extremely polite to the woman as she was rudely going off. Chapman told them she had a business degree and with her camera filming, she said she was gonna show everyone how bad the donut shop was. And she was so convinced that workers were contaminating her makeup food order with spit and other bodily fluids, that she said she wouldn't even eat it, that she would instead give it to her boyfriend. Wow. Her comments to the workers were laced with profanities, threats, and racial slurs, and she kept saying she was gonna post it on Facebook and then on YouTube, saying she hoped it would get a million hits. Well, let's hope your wish is granted, because most everyone seeing it on YouTube, such as myself, thinks you need a good lesson in dealing with everyone. As one commenter wrote, I hope any prospective employer, boyfriend, or in-laws gets a good look at what a piece of trash you really are. The woman has since taken it off her Facebook page, but views of it continue to rise on YouTube. And finally, number one. If you're a smoker and pull up to get some gas, what do you do? You put out your cigarette before getting out of the car. Didn't everyone know that? Well, apparently not. Because some young ding-dong who thought he was really cool with the backward baseball hat and all, pulled up to a gas pump and got out with a cigarette preparing to pump the gas. 
An employee told him to put it out, but he refused. So the employee went out to the pump, grabbed a fire extinguisher hanging by the pump, then proceeded to use it to put the cigarette out and getting the guy holding it all powdery. Yeah, now that's a cool look. And here's a bonus I want to leave you all with. A racist walks into a crowded bar. He looks around and sees a black man sitting in the corner. The racist walks up to the bar, turns around and announces, I'm going to buy everyone in this bar a free drink, except for that black guy over there. Everybody is clapping and cheering for the racist, and when he buys the last drink, the black man turns around, puts his thumb up and says, thanks mate. The racist is slightly puzzled by his reaction, but doesn't pay too much attention to it. The next night, the racist goes into the same bar, and again, there's that black guy sitting in the corner. So the man, again, goes to the bar, turns around and says, I'm going to buy everyone in here a free drink, except for that black guy over there. Well, the crowd goes ecstatic, and they're all hugging and cheering the racist for his big generosity. When he buys the last pint, the black guy turns around, puts his thumb up and says, thanks mate. The racist scratches his head and asks the barman, why is that black guy thanking me when he's the only person I'm not buying a drink for? Well, the barman responds, he owns this place. Just a friendly reminder, please stop the racism. That's all for today. Let us know what you think about the stories in the comment section below. Don't forget to like us and be sure to subscribe for more stories like this. Get addicted to the good stuff.